Welcome to the Erin and Krista Show. I'm Erin. And I'm Krista. Today, we're doing fall looks. It's time for fall. See the pumpkin? Fall, fall. Fall, fall. You know, when fall comes, you want those warm colors, the darker colors, more dramatic look. Kind of get rid of the light summery look and go for it. Yeah, and it's cooler, so you don't have to worry about your makeup melting off. Melty you can kind of layer more. So, yeah, today we're just going to do like a chatty get ready with us. Yeah. Watch us do these fall looks. So, tell them what you're using to get your fall um, look. I'm mainly going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And my lips are the Too Faced Melted Chocolate in Chocolate Cherries. Uh, most of my look is from the Shade and Light Palette. <laughs> Nothing happened. She debris, uh, debris. The warmer part down here. And then, um, this is what my inspiration was the Morphe 35S palette, which is that shimmery, like, warm tone deliciousness. And mostly working with these guys down here. So, those are our tools that we use to get these fall looks. Fall's our favorite. Yeah. I feel like we bonded over fall. Fall's the best time of the year. When we first, um, when we first met? When we first started hanging out. I wonder, oh, I could look when your first appointment was with me. <gasps> I could actually look. Oh my god, I could. Yeah. On your history? Yeah. We should do that. That's probably, yeah. Because I remember, I, re I do remember a distinct phone call once. We were at, um, I was at working at Joe's Crab Shack of all places. Mm -hmm. And I was cleaning the booths at night and you called me and you're like, hey, do you want to come over and watch a movie with us? Yeah. You invited me to hang out with you guys. So and I then did. it was all downhill. And then there. I built a shoe rack with you. Oh Remember yeah. That? Did we yeah. watch a Tegan and Sarah video? Yeah. Well actually I think we bonded over Tegan and Sarah. Let's Prob real. Probs. <laughs> That's where it really came we from. Are, we owe it all to them. We do. So I'm very pink right now because I've been drinking some wine. This is pretty good. I like it cold. Okay, so we have to do pumpkin families, right? Pumpkin families. I'm already like I'm gonna look out for things to make pies. I bought pie weights finally so I could blind bake. I'm very excited. Pumpkin families, seed drays. Yes, seed drays. We should make many seed drays. Would you guys want to see us like make some seed drays? Remember how we made the wine slushies? We'll link that video here. Yeah, we're gonna we, yeah. So then we're thinking about like turning that and doing a fall inspired like punches and drinks, things to serve with friends. If you have a lot, maybe just two. If you're having a party, maybe just yourself. You know, maybe if you yourself need to drink an entire gallon of. Because who sangria? doesn't love fucking fall, man? I'm blind. I feel like fall's gotten more and more like. It's because of Starbucks and their goddamn pumpkin spice lattes. Well, lattes. they're flipping good. I'm sorry. Call me a basic bitch if you want. I'm really <laughs> not a basic bitch, but I do love a fucking pumpkin spice. I can't. Help I it. can drink one, and it. Like your inaugural pumpkin yeah. spice. But that's how you are normally are with that. Yeah, I like coffee. See, look at this foundation. Oh yeah, you're like a glowing angel. It's just smoothing because <laughs> I have a textury dumb face. La, 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 la. God, I'm so pink because of the wine. You know what I want to make? I want to make a um a butt poster. Yeah, I know. I want to make a thing for my porch, like a fall thing, like, like a, a fall thing. swag. Yeah. Well, I don't even do a swag. I want to do like a topiary with those um pumpkins. Oh, like the, the like stack pumpkin? ones. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. Kind of like in the front of the salon. We could do a craft day, a fall craft yeah, day. Yeah, let's do a fall craft day. We can I'm do horrible that. at crafts, but it'll. It be would be kind of hysterical because yeah. she doesn't really know what she's doing with that. It's because I just have no patience. It would be me going, day. "Come and get us to me." It'd be a lot of that. I don't have patience to do crafts, puzzles. What else don't I have patience for? Do Life, <laughs> Human. being alive, humanity, Humans. humanity. I've decided that I. I've been like decided that I my least favorite day part of the day is waking up, and not because I hate my life, but just because no. like, we fucking waking up. Well, we knew that about you already. Oh, I hate waking up. It sucks. Like she I just have come to terms with waking. Except up. for when the when we go somewhere, and then she wakes up like a goddamn chipper. Because alarm. there's stuff to do, and I'm excited. And I'm like, no. If I get to like wake up and be like, ah, like tomorrow I'll wake up and be like, la la la, go to the Renaissance Festival. Like, oh yeah, that's what we're doing tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow we're going to the Renaissance Festival. It's gonna be a good time. That's gonna be real weird. It travels. Comes it's a traveling band of crazers. You know, like a like a fair walk around town about thing. It's that, a medieval fair. Yeah. Where some people think it's medieval time, some people just think it's time to wear butterfly wings. And then you'll see a stormtrooper. And, yeah, and then some people think it's Halloween. Incorrect. Yeah, it's like Renaissance. Renaissance, you know, the Renaissance. So there's people paying loots. Yep. And there's. Turkey legs? Turkey legs. I mainly go for the apple dumpling. Yep. Apple it's dumpling. an entire apple covered in dough, baked, put hot on top of ice cream. It's delicious. I get through those freaking gates and I be lying for it immediately. Yeah, we did it last year. So if you watch our life update, you know that we are in a basement now. It's a studio. We're filming in a studio now. But it is located in our basement. 
So we had to turn the air off because it makes like the furnace, like it just makes it crazy. You've probably heard it in other videos that have been filmed down here. So now we're sweating balls because we drank almost the entire bottle of wine and I have a coat on for no apparent reason. And I would like to say that yeah. I've been switching between this delicious barefoot She's fresh too, crisp she's fruit too fancy, I'll hold them up. <laughs> she's I, got two drinks right That's I, usually me. She's got two, <laughs> she's got options. I've been like dead on going back and forth. Yeah. And like, you know how when you like get a milkshake and then you want a glass of water? Yeah. Like I'm drinking this and then washing it down. Yep. I'm gonna be so hungover tomorrow, I better knock it off. That's fine. No, we'll we'll eat apple dumplings and turkey legs, we'll be fine. Alright. I'll I'll mm -hmm. muster through. We don't dress up really. She had like fun makeup and stuff last year, but we don't like dress up medieval or anything like that. So last year I was wearing my normal attire of combat boots and a black dress. <laughs> and then I went and acquired a broom, like a broomstick from this like artisan. Oh my god, I remember and this. And then I was walking and I don't know what I was talking about and I was like, God, everyone's dressed up like it's Halloween, blah, blah, blah. And then one of you guys is like, you look like, you look like you're dressed like a, you dress up like a witch. And I was like, but it was not on purpose. It was just my natural state <laughs> of It just of happened. Being. Yeah. That's because she's a dress. witch. And now the broomstick lives next to the fireplace. Oh yeah, remember that video we did play with the broomstick? Oh yeah. He went, ah! uh -huh. So I have to get a mirror in front of my mirror because I'm blind. So yeah, septiembre. Time for all things fall. I know. It's just, and plus this was a Get really, yeah. this, what, this, what is the season? Summer. Where are we at? Town. That's right. Okay. <laughs> so the summer. But we're at town. <laughs> you would have been like the fucking moon. And I would have been like, yeah. all right, cool. All right. Deal. Um, this summer's been brutal, man. It's been over 90 too many times and I'm not a fan. It's One, because I'm very white. Two, because I'm chubby. Three, because I'm chubby. It's not even that for me. It's just the it's the fucking humidity, is a killer. And then you can't like you can't open your windows. It may as well be winter. Yeah, you can't. Oh yeah, you don't want to open your windows for outside because you're gonna die. You let your dogs out and they come back and like. <gasps> I need to just pause and have you look at like how much better my eyebrows have been looking lately. And I don't know why it's my thyroid medicine. Probably. Whoa. I mean, I just combed this through it, but that's it. Yeah, you got some eyebrows. I mean, they're happening better than they used to. Did that happen to me? Yeah, am I? Aw, F. I just pooped on my face. <laughs> Why? Don't do that. Don't give yourself a hot Carl. I did. Damn it, Jim. <laughs> hot Carl! Hot pocket. Diarrhea pocket. Diarrhea pocket. <laughs> Open your hot pocket and dip it directly into the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, so we're gonna do pumpkin families. So we should. We should. Man! Oh my god, why are you the wicked witch? Look what I just did. Oh my god! Look at what it is. Oh, look, it's hidden. Oh, I dipped my chestal region into this palette. Look at it. Look, guys. I Stop, you're getting face makeup. No, I'm going to highlight it. Oh I'm going to highlight myself with it. Oh, you gave yourself some blush. It totally did look. Oh, my balls. Freaking balls everywhere. That was a lot. You were really a witch for a second, man. Ah! Okay. I'll get you my pretty. Well, I just bought this at Marshalls for $16.99. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. It's you. ruined. Ruined. All right, what the hell am I doing? I just had a great idea for a Halloween costume. What? To be Silence of the Lambs. So you could be like a lamb. And, and like a, a big, like a gag? Yeah, yeah, with a gag. No, it, a that's gag? exactly what I thought of. And then you're Silence of the Lambs. Can I do? Hello, Clarice. Clarice. Do you like the sheep, Clarice? Are they called? Oh my god. Are you? I know what you said to me by your father. <laughs> oh my god, now you sounded like uh I don't know what. Well Buffalo Bill's the worst though. Oh. Do I look yeah. sexy? Do I look sexy? I Again now now just stream of consciousness about weird things. <laughs> Who is looking forward to the recreation of it? Yes! Fucking At first I was not into it, but then I saw she showed me who's playing. Yeah man it and the costume and I think it's gonna be good. There's also the oh the disappointment room. That's the new one. Movie? Th that I want, yeah. I want to see it's a scary, it's a horror one. Oh, I wish we could all go to the movies. All 2,000 of us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we want to see the disappointment room. Um, no, but I want to see that movie, and then they're doing like a remake of The Ring. Did you see yeah, that? Too soon. It's not like a remake. It's not a remake. It's like an extension. Oh, you said remake. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I meant, well, I mean, I said like a remake. It's not really a remake. Oh, I thought you meant like as in like a valley girl. Like, oh, like a remake. no, I meant like as in comparison. One of the, thing, the things about doing our brows on camera is that sometimes it can, you can go into like a brow well, like you fall down the brow well. Yeah, and you keep doing your brows. Like how are your brows on before mine? I don't know. 
Because I was really concentrating. I fell down a tunnel. So what other scary movies are out that we know about? Um, Let us know if you know the about them. Disappointment Room. That one. Oh, there's another one. The, the, the second Conjuring's been out for a little bit. Scream Queens is starting up again. I haven't watched any of them. Oh my god, friend! It's no, so good! I don't watch a lot of TV. But Scream Queens is good. Good? Good. I don't know what happened. I was going to say good great and great. I decided it's to... Good. I, I backed up on that. I backed up. Um, no, Scream Queens is good. Because it's... Uh, what's her nuts? Emma Roberts and Julia, uh, you know, the Julia? No, the OG horror chick. Julia Julia. No. <laughs> she was in True Truth. The only movie I can think of her in, and she's been in a million. You're thinking of Jamie Lee Curtis. The only movie I can think of her in was True Life of Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Because of the part where she dumps, where the guys are coming together, and so she like takes this thing she has on and like makes it sexy, and she's got short hair, and she dumps a vase of water, does this, and she's like. Ultra sexy does a sexy dance. No. I really like that sexy I dance. I think she thinks Jamie Lee Curtis is what she's talking about. I am, but I think she's Julia. Oh. You <laughs> dumbass. I don't know. I don't know her name. But anyway. That's why I kept saying Julia Gulia. I don't remember those things. Um, that's just what happens when you have two drinks. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I. Oh, God. I did say Julia, but I meant Jamie Lee Curtis. Obviously. But it's a good show. It's creepy. I thought of my girl. Is that normal? <laughs> She's in that movie? Oh yeah, she is. She's movie. the mom or whatever. Freaky that. Friday? Right. Was Lindsay Lohan R.I.P.? I mean, not really her. Oh my god! <laughs> R.I.P. to her, her career. Girl? Her girl. Her career. I don't think she's ever coming back. Nope. That girl has tried and tried and tried. She played, tried to play flipping Elizabeth Taylor and that bombed. Oh my gosh, I tried to watch that movie. Her Elizabeth Taylor and, um, you know the man she was in love with off and on forever. Richard Dragon. <laughs> Richard Burton. Uh oh. <laughs> so we are going to do a, when I say we, I mean everyone in this room that you can't see, so there's other people. Um, <laughs> we're going to do a vampire themed Halloween party this year. Yeah, man. So let us know what your favorite vampire movies are, your favorite characters. Um, if you've ever dressed up as one, please insert a photo. Yeah, Vampire Town. Vampire Town. Should we say what kind of vampires we're going to be, or have you not decided? So, my dream of what I wanted to do has been ruined by my friends. Why? I was counting on my friends Mike and Shane to be Lestat and Louis from Interview with Vampire. Oh, and I yeah. was going to be Claudia. But now, it's ruined. Why? I feel like that only works if I have Lestat and Louis. Why won't they be Lestat and Louis? They're not going to be here. They're mm -hmm. going to be in Portugal. What dicks? Because <laughs> if I'm just rogue Claudia, I'm just going to look like nobody's going to know what that is. Um, I think everybody will know who Claudia no, is. No, because remember when I thought everyone would know who Miss Havisham is and nobody knew who that was either? <laughs> Come up with Miss Havisham's one. fucking weird. But Claudia isn't. My neighbor, when I was telling him about the party, James, or mm -hmm. Jamie, he was like, oh my god, I'd be the little girl from fucking Interview with Vampire. He's also like an uber nerdron. Like, he's got Star Wars tattoos I mean, everywhere. I could be the modern version of her, maybe, but I don't know. So I'm going to be some sort of Victorian Claudia hybrid. So just do something in that same vein. My other thought is to be the female version of Lestat. Yeah, you could do that. I have to get like but people know who that is. Too. Exactly. Nobody's gonna know what the hell I'm doing. Then yeah, but the, here's the deal. But at the end of it, you're gonna look like a vampire. So yeah. regardless, if you look, if people know who, what character you are, people might not know who the hell I am. I'm gonna look like a creep. You didn't even know what that was. Right. You just knew it was a creepy thing. But I just thought it would be so great for photos if I had Lestat. And oh well, yeah, absolutely. But I don't. I wouldn't say don't do it because you don't have them. So those are my thoughts. On who I'm gonna be ish. I wanna be a master vampire. I wanna be the vampires that eat the vampires in Blade. So I'm gonna paint like across my face the vampires that eat open their face up real big. Yeah. I wanna do that. At least I wanna do I'm pretty positive I'm gonna do a video on that. At the very least. And then if that's too much, because wearing the only issue is is that stuff is good for a video, but walking around all day at a in a party with that painting right. no. is like high maintenance. I right. have to watch what I'm eating and drinking. Just and, do a video for the show. But I think I'm for sure gonna do the buffy thing. Like the real furrowed brow. Like the heavy like almost um. Yeah so we're gonna try to do like all like a whole bunch of like different vampire looks. So if you have any suggestions for that leave them below. I mean my favorite vampires are obviously all the Anne Rice vampires because they're, right. they're the best ones. Then moving from there I am a fan of the Vampire Diaries so there's yeah, that. isn't it what, um... Yeah, so girls from work are gonna do Vampire Diaries looks, which is gonna be cute. And then, I mean, Twilight... I'm not doing you know. I mean, I watch Twilight, it's fine, but it's not, it doesn't impress me. And I'm not afraid of them at all. Well, Which no. is part of the lore. <laughs> you kind of need to be scared. 
Right. And that's the whole reason why we went to New Orleans, because I was hoping to find vampires. Oh, yeah. I definitely want to watch, like, a bunch of, like, 80s vampires, like, Fright Night, Lost Boys, like, all those cheesy yeah. 80s ones. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the actual OG Buffy the Vampire Buffy Slayer. Buffy yeah, oh, before the series? Yeah. The one with, uh, with, um, Luke Perry. And Bob Dole. And Bob Dole's in it. <laughs> yeah, so we're excited. And I think I'm going to do everything decor-wise black and red. Yeah. And goth looking, very goth looking. This is my favorite time of the year! Oh, it's the most wonderful time of the year. You got pumpkins and apples, apples and... And, <laughs> and I'm excited to get into my witchy clothes because it's hard to be a summer goth. I know, I, I want to go back to boots and black. Yeah, I and know. Then it's like an excuse for I me. miss pants. Like I full don't. pants. I hate pants. Like leggings, maybe. Pants are the devil. Like leggings and boots. Well, you can't wear pants. I'm not the shape of pants, it's very upsetting. I mean, it's fall, it's time for... Darkness. This colors, these colors. Yeah. You're so well. Oh, we probably should at least tell them what we're working with. Oh yeah, I'm using the Anastasia uh, Modern Renaissance palette, which is beautiful for fall, because you have all those burnt reds and those oranges and some really good, like, um, pinks. And like a true orange. It's called Real Gar. Those beautiful. are all, did you notice they're all like artist names? Yeah. So I have to use two because I'm using the Cat Body Shade and Light Eye Palette, which you know is like a staple. It's all mattes. They're, everyone needs this. For my main inspiration, I'm going to use the Morphe 35S, the All Shimmer Palette, which just basically looks like fall. If I can open it with my claws, I will. I mean, look at all these colors. Right, it's beautiful. So like I'm going to probably be using like this section down here. But you gotta throw some mattes in there, otherwise you'll look nuts. Right. I'm working with mostly mattes, just shimmer in the inner corner, or the, yeah, the inner area. But I'm really doing a lot of washes of orange across the whole thing to make it real warm and fuzzy. crisp and fall. Warm and, fuzzy. and then I'm really gonna smoke out my bottom lid. Oh yeah, we did that to her a couple days ago. You know, change it up. I get bored. I gotta say, it's very rare that I do the exact same thing two times in a row. Oh, uh, uh, funky buttholes. This. Funky Butt Lovin', this brush is great. See how it's like- Oh, for blending too? No, for doing like, like I just wanted you to see orange right here, but I didn't want it um, like all over because it gets too muddy. So this brush is great to literally just do that. Oh. See? Because it's just got those little things little and then- stippling here? Yeah, just on the lid to put, so you can still have that look like you went like whoosh, without so many layers it starts to get muddy. Right. It's a girl. Yeah, Help. you have pumpkins and apples and goblins and ghouls oh, goblins. and bat wings and anuses. <laughs> Every time you have to go to rectal and anatomy. I am sorry. <laughs> I can't stop. I won't stop. You can't make me stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. Love a butthole. Can't stop. Won't stop. Love a butthole. So, can't stop, won't stop. oh, there you go. So even the very most kind-hearted, gentle spirits at work. We'll talk about butts now because I've trained them. <laughs> yeah. I never talked about poop till I met you. Oh, I know a few people like that in my life. I didn't like to talk about it. I thought it was like, just like weird and uncomfortable. I know, it's the greatest. And now it's amazing. It's like, a, it's like freedom. I know. To be able to talk about it. That's, that's one of the freedoms of America that I will hold dear for the rest of my life. Yeah, talking about shit. Yeah, being able to talk about pooping. And if anybody tried to take it away from me, I would say no, sir. How dare you? No, sir. Turn the car. I just think that's the beat around. Incorrect. <laughs> Love to hear percussion. Obviously. Turn it upside down. Oh, that's I was trying to harmonize with you, you asshole. I don't know <laughs> these things. <laughs> Turn <laughs> it upside down. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. We're gonna have a talk show. It's called the Aaron and Chris Show. We're gonna talk <laughs> about and and when we go and we have special guests every single time, it's always gonna be the same one. Oh, which is <laughs> Tegan and Tara, oh. I think, making us waffles. Oh, but only in a cage, so our wives don't kill us. They are gonna kill us. Uh, uh, do do ba ba. We go into the party. Gonna wear my new pants that I got at Marshall's. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You, the best is that you were looking for the word. I, like, I mean, shut it. I was looking in my mind palace. I know. I can tell. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> I'm getting eyes. So I don't have my glasses on. When I look at myself in the viewfinder, I just see eyebrows and like a black hole. You look like. Yeah, it's not good. I can't really see that far either, so don't feel bad. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Remember Gloria Stefan? What happened to her? Now that's in my head, real Me bad. Me too. Is Gloria Stefan alive? I can't even put eyeliner on anymore. I don't even know why I tried. My eye starts watering and it's just like a slippery wet liner all over my I face. I forgot my black eyeliner. You just put it on. No, my pencil. Oh. Do you have a pencil? Uh -uh. A black one? Uh -uh. How dare you? Look, I'm putting eyeliner on my waterline and nothing's happening. Because it's That's all wet. Because your eyes are already wet and gooey. Water. Did you finish the office yet? Oh yeah, we finished. Yay. Can we talk about it now? So, Eric and I started watching The Office from the beginning and we just finished all of it last night. <laughs> my eyeliner just shot across the Oh, okay. Um, here's what I'll have to say about the end. Mm -hmm. I was actually disappointed with the amount of time they spent on Michael Scott at the end. He said two lines and I did not like that. I thought it was a little bit like anticlimactic with that part. Because I was waiting for him to come back. I knew he would pop in at some point. Right. And then he like said nothing. He said that's what she said. And then he was gone. He talked about his family. Yeah. Okay. So that was the other thing he said. I just, I didn't, I was not a fan of that part. I wanted more Michael Scott. Yeah. Just because I know the last season wasn't about him, but all the other seasons were, and it's like right. the whole. If you think about that whole documentary that they were filming, he's in most of it. Well, so, right. I don't know. But I think but, they kept Michael Scott simple because I think I even think Carol wrote that last episode, part of it. But they, I think they kept it simple because they wanted it to leave him where he was. The parts that like got me emotional were the parts about Angela in the last like three when she's like basically becoming homeless and then Oscar has her. Home yeah, home. like that she's part. Like, yeah, buying a tent. Yeah, when she's buying a tent, I'm like, oh my god! She lost everything. Yeah, that part made me kind of emotional. I don't like it when Jim and Pam have an issue. Oh, I didn't like it either. I was getting super nervous. I know. But I did like that. I like that they wrapped it up in general. I liked it when it, that Aaron found her parents. And oh, I liked yeah. the actors they chose. That it was Joan Cusack. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. just bronzing up my corpse right now. Bronzing up my corpse. <laughs> that sounds like a band name. <laughs> it is. What kind of music would bronzing up my corpse sing? Get song? your elbow out of my leg. I can't help it. Get your face on my life. My face is not in your life. I'm gonna glue this in the middle of your life. No! I do my mascara very last. Very, very last? Yeah. Because probably of the because of the watery death eye. Yeah. I'm just gonna sit here with my eyelashes on. Oh, 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 oh my god! <gasps> oh no! What happened now? Right in the eye hole. Oh my god, you're going crazy. Mother F, why are you going so crazy right I now? I poke my eye hole out. You know when this happens that it's not good from here on out. Because my eyes will just start okay. boiling water. <laughs> boiling water? I don't like these falsies. I feel like I have these lashes like shooting off of my face. Oh wow. Aren't they weird? They're like, they come out too straight and then go up. Maybe right? I should like, curl them. Yeah, try that. Aren't they weird? Honestly, they almost look like Halloween lashes. They're fucking her down. I know, I saw that. Ow, oh, I just poked myself on my goddamn face. See? It's rampant. Well, I have lashes on that look like... Our doll don't make these lashes anymore, they're not good. These are the Glamour 113s. I don't like them. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm an Ardell fan. We gotta tell people we don't like them. Should we burn their house down? I mean... Oh. Curse them all your houses. Yeah. I do love this like orangey red pink eyes with green mm -hmm. eyes. This is one of my favorite lipsticks. I'm just telling gentle humans about it. It's the Maybelline Matte's collection and it's called Touch of Spice number 660. God, I wish it was 666, but it's not. That would have made it better. It's just the perfect freaking color for everything. Mm-hmm. And I'm done. I just gotta uh, put some blush and lipstick on them. Do you not watch The Vampire Diaries? Uh -uh. Oh, you should. My fake boyfriend's on that show. Demon Salvatore? Anybody? You should be. I mean, that's who I'd go for if that was my world. Boys are your world? Mm-hmm. Do we know what he looks like, everybody? As soon as I put his name in, it comes in up Damon Salvatore shirtless. Of course it does. But I just like his face. I don't need to see anything else. <laughs> All right, so thank you for watching our video. We hope that you liked our fall looks. Um, let us know what your favorite part about fall is. We talked about ours, about the pumpkins, and we didn't even talk about cider mills and apples. No, cider and mills and apples and donuts, oh my god. And all those things. So let us, especially being from Michigan, we have access yeah. to amazing 
And don't forget to let us know what vampire look you might want to yeah. see or your favorite vampire movie. Absolutely. And your favorite part about fall. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and comment, subscribe if you already don't. So uh, that's really it. Right? See you in the next video. All right. Bye, friends. Bye, friends.